On April 15, 1945, the British 11th Armored Division liberated Bergen-Belsen, one of the worst Nazi concentration camps, which epitomized the true bestiality and horrors of the Nazi regime and its death camps. The British forces found 13,000 unburied dead bodies and almost 60,000 prisoners who were sick and starved. Other thousands of inmates died of various diseases, such as typhus and tuberculosis, during the months following the camp's liberation. The British forces managed to capture male and female Nazi guards responsible for these horrors and forced them to help bury the dead bodies in mass graves. One of these SS guards was Elizabeth Volkenroth, one of the most sadistic Nazi guards. Elizabeth Volkenroth was born on September 5, 1919. She was a poor student growing up, and before the war, Volkenroth worked in a hairdressing salon. Her infamous career in concentration camps began in 1941, when she became a guard at Ravensbrück concentration camp. She supervised the women working outside the camp, and had to take care that these female prisoners did not escape and did their work. She was also taught to keep prisoners in order by beating and ill-treating them until they were frightened to death. In March 1942, she was sent to Auschwitz concentration camp in Poland. According to her testimony, at first, she worked in a sort of tailoring shop where the prisoners mended the uniforms of their fellow inmates. The majority of the inmates employed in this workshop were elderly women, and Fulkenroth used to strike them with her fists. Then, Fulkenroth worked in a parcel store where she supervised a group of 25 prisoners who had to open and distribute all the parcels that came either from the Red Cross or relatives of the prisoners. At Auschwitz, Elizabeth Volkenroth was known for her exceptional brutality, due to which she became the most hated woman in the camp. She also became a head warden and was in charge of all the SS women. She also used to make selections from prisoners as they returned to camp from outside work. Then she helped to load them onto lorries, which took them to the gas chambers. Picking out victims for gas chambers was one of her favorite activities, and on one occasion, out of 1,400 prisoners, only 300 were left alive after such selection had been made. Another of her specialties was beating women prisoners. On one occasion, Fulkenroth ordered a female prisoner to undress and beat her so brutally that the poor victim was in the hospital for three weeks. One inmate testified that on 80 occasions, Fulkenroth beat the prisoners, often with a rubber truncheon, until they were unconscious and many of them were carried away dead. Once, when a female prisoner was accused of wearing a stolen ring and a locket, Fulkenroth and her colleagues stripped the woman naked and beat her with a rubber truncheon. Then, they closed the inmate in a cellar with food and water for only three days. The inmate managed to survive a stay in the cellar and brutal interrogations for three weeks thanks to her sister, who smuggled her the food and water. After surviving this horrible torture, the inmate was sent to clean the latrines when weak and exhausted, and she contracted typhus and died. On another occasion, Fulkenroth threw an old woman who came to ask for work down the stairs. The woman died immediately. Fulkenroth even took away food and water from the starving prisoners. Her explanation was that they had too much of it. During the roll calls, she made prisoners hold their hands above their heads. Elizabeth Fulkenroth was also present when one Nazi female camp guard named Buchhalter was punished with 25 lashes with a whip. This punishment was ordered by the head of the SS, Heinrich Himmler himself, because Buchhalter had sent letters written by prisoners to their relatives in an unofficial way and had a love affair with a male prisoner. This punishment was administered by the other female guards. In January 1945, as the end of the war was approaching, Fulkenroth moved from Auschwitz to Bergen-Belsen concentration camp, where she came on February 5, 1945. When one female inmate tried to escape and was caught, both Elizabeth Fulkenroth and Josef Kramer, the camp's commandant, started to hit the poor woman with a stick on her head, face, and all over her body. When she saw a sick girl taking some vegetables, Fulkenroth made her kneel down and hold the vegetables above her head for four hours. After four hours, when this girl could no longer hold her arms up, Fulkenroth beat her on the head, back, and legs with her rubber truncheon. The girl was unconscious, and because nobody was allowed to assist her, she was left laying there until the evening. Up until her very last moment in camp, she took pleasure in abusing the prisoners. One day, 
After the British forces arrived to liberate the camp, she was witnessed beating a prisoner with her fist so violently that the innocent person collapsed and did not move again. After Bergen-Belsen's liberation, Elizabeth Volkenroth was captured by the British forces together with her fellow Nazi criminal colleagues such as Johanna Bormann, who used to set dogs on the prisoners, and Josef Kramer, the last commandant of Bergen-Belsen. She was tried at the Belsen trial, which began on the 17th of September, 1945. At her trial, she refused to confess to any of the charges brought against her, claiming only to have slapped a few prisoners with her hand, never with a rubber truncheon. However, her lies did not help her to escape justice. The British Military Tribunal found Elizabeth Volkenroth guilty and sentenced her to death by hanging. She was 26 years old when the British executioner Albert Pierpont carried out the sentence on the 13th of December, 1945. There were no tears shed for Elizabeth Volkenroth. Thanks for watching the World History Channel, and don't miss our next videos. Click the subscribe button now for more interesting clips. Give us a like, and see you in the following episode.